Hey everyone, this, uh, this is Dario Biddy here, and I'm going to give you a review on my homemade skateboard tape today. Now, like I said in my uh, graphic design tutorial, I, I said I, I was I decided to make my own skateboard tape instead of buying one that suits me. So, here it is. Now let's take a closer look. So, like I said in my last video, I was going to use the fish design, and I didn't know why, I just liked it. So... So here it is, just a look at it. Okay, and I'll give you the overview of how I made this. Um, so how I got the deck was I used the wood which I have right here of a floorboard. And for those and for those of you that don't know what a floorboard floorboard is, it looks like this. All right, so what I did was uh, you know, set up. That's better. So what I did, I cut off the edges with a with a jigsaw right here. And the reason being, the wood's a little bit big because floorboards are way bigger to have more like foot surface and whatnot. So yeah, I cut the the surface. I cut the the board into a street board like I have right now right over there it's not broken yet I made this one that I want to not mine I asked my parents to buy one yeah, so anyways so I cut it off with a sander and then what I did next is use some old grip tape and rounded it off with a and just sand it off the edges right right here on any size I don't know See, I have crappy camera coordination. <laughs> and in here, hope you guys can see that. Okay. And now, to tell you how I painted this. Um, how I painted this was, as usual, I used spray paint. I used black, white, and clear spray paint to give that gloss in the light that a light bulb up there so I'll show you my paint alright so these are the paints that I used I used two color place brand black and white and then I used the crayon on clear gloss spray paint as you can see I used black white and clear like I told you earlier now, the only problem being was for the painting job is that um, I would have just like put the the white on first, but I watched in the tutorial videos like you have to use white primer, so I didn't use that. I just like used some other paints, but I don't really care. And I had to use all that with black. I had to use the black one to cover all the messes up because the paint was running out. And I was like messing up my deck, so. I use bl black for most of that, and then I use white to cover it up. And then I'll show you the stencil for my fish. All right, so here's the stencil for my fish. My little fish stencil here, swimming around in my room. <laughs> yeah, so this is the stencil that I use, like in my sketch plan. Here are the the shark gills. I don't know why I added them. The little tail, tail, fins, the this dorsal fin here, high mouth, just like on my deck. You can you can guys probably tell the difference. Well, a little bit different. Like on my deck is that. The spring didn't go like long enough, so I have to cover it up with a black marker on that. So, yeah, here's my stencil on my fish. Pretty comparable. And now for the drilling part. The drilling part, I have to say, was the hardest concept because I would have used... Okay, so my reason being is that it was harder because I didn't really actually use the drill. The only way I could use it is that I had to use a key to unlock the, the lock the, the um, 
the drill the drill bits to like insert it with a new one and stuff so what I use so what I did is was like I got a little screw and a screwdriver I screwed I screwed in the holes from inside and out like upside down and right side up from here and out and then I did the same process with all the holes and how I did that is that I used an, an old truck just to get the holes right and then the thing I did next was I used a drill a drill bit the same size as the truck holes to spit the holes out because if I just used the screw it would be enough space so I had to use the drill bit to face them out and what I used and what I used to space them out was the drill bit and a pipe wrench and with the pipe wrench I I put it inside and stuff and I and then what I did I just grabbed it like this it's pretty confusing for you but maybe you guys that are like watching will get the idea and then I just picked it up like like a prime bridge just pushed on just like screwed it screwed it around just spaced them out and I tested out and then put the holes in and it was all good and then I put my grip tape on got it from Westbury 9 my local skate shop I actually got this for free today because there wasn't a price tag on it and then the buyer just said go on take it so it was pretty good for me all right just give you a look whoop slipped on some spray paint cans <laughs> okay last look at my deck and oh, that's pretty much it here's the grip tape here's the board and that's my view, that's my total, my whole review of my escaping decks. So I hope you guys like it. If you do, then give this a thumbs up. So until then, I'll be able to make more escape videos when I can. Well, that's it. Take it easy, guys. Later.